تمام پسندوں کے راج میں ہندوتوا کے پیروکاروں نے مسلمانوں کے خلاف محاذ بنا لیا ان انڈیا سم ایکسٹریم رائٹ ونگ ہندو گروپس بگین اے کیمپین ٹو پریونٹ یوزنگ لاؤڈ اسپیکرز ڈیورنگ فیجیو ایدن دا پریئر کال فرام ماسکس ایٹ ڈان دے آرگنائز سیورل ریلیز ڈیمانڈنگ اے بین آن دا کال ٹو پریئر اکراس انڈیا The municipality of the Dutch city Deventer announced that the central mosque in the city has the right to use loudspeakers for three minutes on a daily basis between 12 and 2 p.m. The British network Channel 4 announced that they will air the Fajwa Aden during the holy month of Ramadan. The officials in the channel said that the month of Ramadan is very important for Muslims whose number is estimated at 2.8 million in the UK. According to the network policy, impartiality and the concept of mass media requires taking this step. In Sweden, Stockholm Mosque received approval to make the call to prayer from above its high minaret, which is the first time to happen in Sweden. Why all the hype about the event? What does it mean? and why Muslims are so careful on the call to prayer. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. If you visited any Muslim country at any time, you definitely heard these words repeated on the minarets of mosques. At the beginning of Islam, Muslims decided to use a unique method to gather people for prayer. After some discussions, the Prophet chose the words of Adhan to be the notification that the prayer shall begin. But why those words in particular? Why did Prophet Muhammad command us to repeat the words of the call to prayer when we hear them? The Adhan is more than a notification of prayer. The Muslim has to think about the meaning of the words of the Adhan, feel them with his heart and contemplate them with his mind. The Adhan is a declaration for every individual in the society. It shows that this Muslim society is connected and all his individuals have to go to prayer together. In order to keep the values of beauty, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, recommended to choose the best voice to deliver the Adhan. This is why the Prophet chose Bilal to call to prayer as the beautiful voice is more likely to touch the hearts. The balance that Islam creates in the spirits of its adherents requires them to abandon the world of blessings to seek the provider of blessings five times a day, so that they do not get distracted by the mean from the purpose or by the creation from the Creator. Someone might say, but non-Muslims do not understand Arabic, yet they are touched when they hear the Adhan. Actually, the call to prayer is usually the first thing that touched the majority of those who embraced Islam. When they hear the Adhan, they seek information about Islam from different sources such as Imams. Then they read the Quran and they feel overwhelmed by its verses and eventually they accept Islam. The Adhan consists of six repeated sentences. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. It means God is greater. and it is said four times. The initial sentence for the Adhan is quite astonishing. It makes you wonder because it does not tell you God is greater than what. Because you can finish the sentence with any word as God is greater than everything and anything. God is greater than anything you might be doing at the time of prayer. This is why you have to leave everything you're doing when you're called to worship God. If you believe that there is no deity worthy of worship other than God, then you will only worship Him. You will not worship the job, success, desire or pleasure. Worshipping God is not represented only in prostration or the physical moves of prayers. It is putting God's obedience above anything else. On the other hand, letting your desires control you like a master controlling his slave and putting your desires before God is the total opposite of worshipping Him. 
But when a Muslim witnesses that there is no deity worthy of worship except God, he classifies his belief and worship of God as the biggest and most important value in his life. It means I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of God. The caller has stated that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger appointed by the creator of this great universe. God has sent other messengers before him, such as Noah, Abraham, Moses and Jesus, peace be upon them all. Those messengers call upon mankind to worship God alone, for he is the owner of every single human being. The line of prophethood ended with Muhammad. It means rush to prayer. The muazzin is calling those in his vicinity to pray directly, and by praying they detach themselves from the worldly marathon after material needs. Praying is the connection between people and their Lord, the rich and poor, black and white, young and old, all gather in the mosque for prayer. Praying is the rule that all prophets followed because it creates serenity and comfort for the soul and helps the person to go on with his life and accept the decree of God with happiness and contentment. It means rush to success. The reason behind the creation of man is his worship of the Creator and gratitude to Him. In doing so, a person achieves the true and eternal success, which is to enter paradise. The success that any other loss seems irrelevant and trivial in comparison to it. It is the success for which any sacrifice seems cheap, because it would mean enjoying paradise in the eternal life of the hereafter. It is the purpose of every smart person on earth. But if a human loses the chance to enter paradise, what is the value of anything else? What is the value of any temporary success? Finally, the caller to prayer repeats the initial statement. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la Because this sums all of the above, that God is greater than everything, and that there is no deity worthy of worship other than Him. It is impossible that God, who has power over all of the universe, to have an equal. If that were so, the precisely controlled universe would become chaotic. No!